Hello students, you are welcome once again to another edition of Mathematics Made Simple powered by the Novel Learning Support Studio. I am your mathematics teacher or I like you to refer to me as your mathematics coach, Agada Peter. I'll be taking you on quadratic equation, another topic on our mathematics syllabus. Now, welcome into my class. Quadratic equation. Now, every quadratic equation is of this form. Now, there are other polynomials that have powers greater than 2, all right? And then we have other expression whose powers of x is less than, or any other letter, is less than what? 1. Now, when you have this expression such, such as x plus um, y, this expression is a linear expression, all right? This expression is a linear expression. But if I go a step further and write x squared plus y, this expression becomes a quadratic expression. Okay? Quadratic expression. Now, it may go x raised to power what? 3 or x raised to power 4 as the case may be plus what? Y. Now, we will not have, we don't have a specific name for this, but it falls under the family of what? Polynomials. Polynomials. And uh, the quadratic uh, expression is a family, is an aspect of uh, such polynomial expression. Though the quadratic itself is a polynomial expression, but any expression of, any expression written in this form particularly, or using letters, and then the power of the letter under consideration, or the letters under consideration, does not exceed to such, a, such expression is regarded as what? Quadratic expression. And then I would like to note too, please, bear this in mind, that the general form of quadratic equation is written as AS squared plus BX plus C equal to zero. In the course of this lesson, we will be delving into your formula method, which is actually derived from the general form, all right? But I'd like you to note here that every quadratic expression has two solutions. Now, if you go by what I wrote on my chart, I said one of the first thing you do is to pick the first item, all right? The first item, which is carrying x squared, all right, we'll use that to multiply the constant. We use that and multiply the constant. Thereafter, after that is done, that is x squared multiplied by 5, giving you 5x squared. What you do after that is to then check the factors of 5x squared, such that Whatever factors is brought, which is 2, you know, we're talking about quadratic, equi uh, quadratic expression. And I did tell you that every quadratic expression has how many solutions? Two solutions. Now, if I decide to use my factorization, that is, I want to factorize this expression, all right? What I first of all do is take this and multiply with the constant, that is why you can see that I underlined the first term there and the last term. Now, when that is done, that is S squared is multiplying 5. What am I going to get? I'm going to get 5x squared. All right? Now, I am going to look for two factors. I am going to look for two factors such that, please note, that what I just generated here, all right, is referred to as what? The product, all right? Why this expression here is regarded as the sum. All right, now, I want two factors, such that their sum will give me 6x, and then the product will give me 5x squared. I guess we start gambling. What numbers or what numbers can I really bring together? Two numbers can I bring together 
and then if I add the two numbers together, it is going to give me 6x. If I multiply the two numbers together, it is going to give me 5x squared. So now let's start playing now. Let's go with the sum, all right? Let's go with sum, and let's also have in mind the product. Now, think of two numbers. Think of two numbers. Factors of 5x squared. If you ask me, I'm already playing with my mind here, and I guess you're doing the same thing too. Now, come up with two numbers. If I multiply the two numbers together, I am going to get 5x squared. If I sum the two numbers together, I'll get what? 6x squared. If you're playing with me, I'm playing also. Now, let's go. What if I say 5x plus x? My result, obviously, will be what? 6x. 5x plus x. The result is what? 6x. Now, if I decide again, I have satisfied one of the conditions, that is the sum must give me the middle term, which is 6x, all right? Now, I want to get another two numbers, all right? It must not be different from this because when I conclude with this, it means that I am saying that 5x multiplied by x is going to give me 5x squared. So, whichever ways you settle for, once you settle for any two numbers, all right, the two numbers you are settling for must be used in the sum and in the product. So, we concluded here that the sum we are looking at must be 5x and x.